Many of you have been asking me how I painted my Lumineth Rim Lords. Here is the full receipt with all the colors I use for the armor. You can see here from the lightest color going from the ivory, light flesh, ice yellow, okay, to the dark ones with the heavy green and the scurvy green. Okay, this is almost everything that I use. The most important one is the interior yellow from AK. This one is the one that is going to connect the greens that you can see on my right with the yellow that you can see on the left, okay? The heavy green is going to be like more the mid-tone connecting the scurvy green to get this contrast between, between this bluish uh, green with the yellowish uh, colors that you see all over the models. There are many variations. You can use and mix interior yellow with palette yellow, with eye yellow, with ivory or light flesh. It depends on the part of the miniature where I want to make it some differences and not use all the time the same three light colors. Seraphine Sepia Shade is one of the washes from Citadel I use mostly in the armors. Also, I use the Rayclan Flesh Hide, but it's not here, but I use it to make some difference. Also, the contrast, they are very, very nice colors to make edge linings on the shadows and to mark some contrast in some of the armors. As you can see here in this model, it has been only painted with interior yellow over a heavy green base and then I use a little bit of the scurvy green on the most down areas of the miniatures to create this contrast. Then I'm going to paint it with the palette yellow with a little bit of eye yellow and final lights maybe with ivory in in the armor or some pieces that it have from jewelry or whatever. I'm going to use the contrast, the washes or the scurvy green. The K is just going around with the same colors to keep this essence of the army all together. Also, fly it one. I use it with the palisan, okay, to make the lights on the edges of the armor to not paint it the same light with uh, ivory, okay, and don't confuse it with the highlights that you can find on the yellow. Well, this is mostly everything that I use, and now we are going to see how I start painting a big Alarith Spirit of the Mountain. Hope you like it and hope you enjoy it. Any question, just write it on the comments and I will try to answer as good as I can. So, enjoy the video.